We have started off the day with some beautiful red skies. There's a little bit of wind, which is only going to be ideal if we can make sure it's going the way we want it to do and not send any of the areas we're going to hunt. I'm out stalking with Alan and we're in the search of some seeker stalking around the forestry blocks. So let's get stuck into it. Go for it. Go for it. Down the edge here. Our wind is going to be awkward, uh, but I think down the edge here. What we need to do is to actually try and work out exactly where they are once we get. I think they're going to be a fair bit in the forest room. So it's got a two seeker on the other side of the forest room. Now we're just trying to work out a game plan of how to get them in this wind. So we're just making our way through the woods now. It was hard going. Eventually, out of nowhere, one of the deer just stood up. Whether it caught the scent of something going around, we don't know, but Alan took this opportunity and he took the shot. The deer ran maybe a couple hundred yards and dropped straight away. There were five other deer with her. Now, we didn't even see these deer, we couldn't see them in the thermal. This shows you how good they are at hiding, and having a look about, we can actually see where they've been bedding and what they've been sleeping in. Judging by the height of these reeds, I think this could be the problem of why we're not seeing them in the thermal. They might be reflecting the sun and we're just not seeing any heat source through the thickness of the reeds. No wonder you don't see them on the thermal. Being able to watch the deer go down and having less of a hunt to find her is super ideal and you can get straight into the grolicking process. And again, with Alan being a vet, this is a great watch and it's very educational. Perfect. Okay, so slightly quartering. And, uh, so we're just stalking through the forestry now, basically. See so if I can't find anything to set up in amongst all the, all the broken trees and stuff, basically. It's a bit of a nightmare going there. Before coming out into the open of any little uh, tree fell or anything like that, I'm taking the time to do some scanning either with the thermal, which finds those heat sources really quick, or with the 
binoculars. One thing I do find is a black grouse and I try my best to get it on the big camera and this is all I managed to get but it was a very impressive to see. So I'm on my own now, Alan had to go home. He got here a day earlier so he's done a bit more stalking than us. Um, I'm actually gonna go meet with Jake and Ross who are out on the hill. I'm just gonna cut in a different way and uh, see if I can't meet up with them and hopefully bump into something on the way. And uh, fingers crossed we can get a shot at it. I may have found Jake and Ross, but turns out Jake found me a long time ago. With his nice big fancy thermal imaging, he had me clocked a long time ago and had a good laugh watching me speak to myself, speak to the camera, plod along and generally have a good time. Once we're teamed up, we get hiking. They have already covered a lot of ground and I have covered even more. So we decide to start making our way back to the truck, but nice and slowly, just in case there's anything gonna pop out. Taking that time to glass before every little hill and every nook and cranny. When you have big open flat land like this, you have to use every little bit of um, elevation you can or a bit of ground to hide behind. So it starts going down now, but we've got a nice little knoll top here that we're just gonna peer down see if we can see anything I don't know if that means that he's seen something or he's just dancing So we're just back at the pickup. I think we're all in need of a cup of tea and some food. 100%. 100%, my legs are knackered. I think probably by now I've done about 9K or more over pretty horrible terrain. So we're gonna go back, get some grub and make a plan. There is deer recovery to do. So we're just trying to work out what's best. And uh, then we'll get stuck into that. So we're nice and well fed now, I smashed some nice black pudding rolls and um, we just done a bit of zeroing with our rifles just checking it basically because uh, we've been out a few days and we've been in about the trees get you know smashing about crawling so just checking the rifles and they're all shooting straight so we've got still a bit of light we're going to head up onto the hill and see if we can't sit out to see anything come out of the forestry blocks Once set up, it's pretty much just a waiting game. Jake is on some high ground behind me, looking over the other side of the hill, and I have a fairly good view of pretty much everything. Definitely everything within range. Now, I even looked at the back of the forestry where I seen those seeker this morning, and I even see a few heads bobbing about. I was very surprised at them coming in to this ground that quickly. It just shows you that these deer, they know what they want, they know where they want to feed, and they know where they want to be. You just have to make sure you're in the right position, doing all the correct things. With the sun going down and it getting very dark, eventually it's pitch black, but we do get a sight of a nice little seeker hind coming right in on the thermal. I must admit, I'm starting to really love playing about with this thermal imaging. It shows you how well you can just 
pick up deer just from scanning about. And if you're in the industry where you're needing to control the numbers of deer and you're against the clock, this is something that you can see really helps. And just like that, another mega day is over. And before we can get hunkered down and have a nice whiskey for the night, we've got a few more chores and get those deer into the chiller. This is also the end of this episode, but don't worry, there is one more episode of this trip, and what a trip it has ended up being. I've loved being out into the open hill, the forestry blocks, and for the last day, we're going back out and we're going to hunt some red deer. I think a few people might be feeling the lack of society or maybe too much whiskey, but everybody's having a great time and it only gets better. So join me for the last episode where we get stuck into the red deer, we get walking, we get shooting, and a lot of hard work pays off. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you all very soon.